Welcome, today we're going to go through customer advertising. Now if you follow this channel for a while you know that we had a video up on this topic, although in that video I mentioned we'll upload a new video once we have specific customer advertising files that are a little bit better suited for the images. So we've got those now, so we're going to go through how to set it up from scratch. I'll remove that older video so you won't be able to find it. This one will be the one going forward just to stop any misinformation to make it easier. So there's two methods to do this. One is getting all your point of sales to talk to your server, in which case you only need to update the images on your server computer and then it will go to all the point of sales. It is easier ongoing if you need to constantly change advertising, though it does require a little bit more setup. And if you want it to be on the point of sales instead, so you need to update the images on each point of sale, we can do that too. And I'll go through how to do that. With both of these methods, you'll need to be on ProfitTrack version 3.11.3.5 or higher for the unlocked functionality. If you didn't see that video and all the other unlocked functionality, I'll have that video linked in the top right now. So starting off, there is one thing we need to grab before we get started, is if you're using Windows 10, right click, go into display settings, and you'll get your monitors. So for most places, this will just be your one and two, which is your touchscreen and your customer display. My system has three monitors. Now on these three, you can identify them to see what they are. I'm not sure if that shows up in my video editing software, but essentially my right side is my monitor one, my middle is monitor two, and my left is monitor three. Now with that being said, each of them has a resolution. So as you click on them, you'll see different reses. Now for me, they're all the same monitor, so they're all gonna be the same. And all my resolutions are 1920 by 1080. Now, some of them will be a little bit different, and that's fine. So what will happen is, with those two methods I said, where all the point of sales talk to one server, that can only be done if all the point of sales customer displays have the same resolution. So before doing any of this, the first thing you want to do is jump onto each point of sale, go into your right-click display settings, and then see what res is your customer display. So in my case, 1920.1080, oh, sorry, 1920 by 1080. If you don't have all the same resolution on all your customer displays, you'll have to go with the local method, or at least if the majority are, you could do automatic on the majority, and then maybe POS6 has a different customer display resolution and you do manual on that one specific lane. You can do a mix match, that's fine. So we'll start with the method of talking to the server, because it is the cleaner method of the two. So assuming we've got this information, what we'll then do is go onto the internet and go to the independentsolutions.com.au website. When you're there, click on news, scroll down once you're on the news screen to the customer advertising how to set it up. When you're in there, you'll get a customer advertising 10 images hyperlink. When you click on that, it will download a zip file and in said zip file will be three HTMLs. So HTML is the format going forward as Flash was discontinued at the start of the year. Now you can see here, they've all got a name on them like 1920-1080. We know that's my resolution, so that's the file I'll be using. These are the three standard ones for the IS retailers, the 1024 by 768 and 1280 by 1024. So in my case, because I've checked and my resolution's 1920 by 1080, that's the file I need. So I'll extract these and I'm just going to extract them to my music folder to keep it easy. I'm going to cancel that. Assume that I just did that extraction because I've already done this once. So if I now go to my music folder, I've got my three. So what I'll do is I'll copy my 1920 by 1080 because that's the one for my res. Go to my C drive and I'll delete that and create a new one. So we'll go customer advertising as a file name and paste it in there. While in here, create a new folder called images. Then rename this and remove just the end bit off it. You don't actually have to do this, it's just to make it easier in one of the future steps. Now in images, this is where you will put your actual advertising images. Now we don't have any at the moment, so I'm gonna just go to Google and I'm gonna search apples 1920 by 1080 and I'm just gonna grab that one. Yeah, that's fine. Save image, make sure it's a JPEG. It has to be a JPEG for this to work. I'm gonna minimize that. That didn't download as an image. I'm gonna to have to do that again. 
Yeah, it can't be downloaded securely. Okay, I need a different image. All right, we'll choose uh, that, that's fine. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna say keep this time. It's fine. All right, there is our image. So if I rename that to one, so this can hold up to 10 images. Oops, sorry. And then we're gonna control C, control V to copy this. So it can hold up to 10. Now, if you don't have 10, if you only have five, you can just have duplicates, two of each, and just go like that. So you can see here, and just to prove that point, I've got 10 of the same image. That's gonna to work totally fine. It's just gonna cycle through the same image over and over. Not a problem. So six, seven, eight, and that's number nine. I need one more. Ten. All right, so we've set up the file there. So essentially the point of sale is going to call to this file. That file then looks in here for the images and then displays them on the point of sale. That's how that works. So there is one more, or technically two more steps that we have to do, which are both network permissions. So we need to right click on customer advertising, go into properties, go into sharing and go share. We're gonna type in everyone and add it and change it to read and write permission and share. All right, once that's shared, we then need to go to this little computer symbol in the bottom right, open network and internet settings. In here, there's a network and sharing center. When you go into that, you wanna go change advanced sharing settings. And each of these, you'll need to go through all of them, but I'll do it with you. So we'll go private. We wanna turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing. Go into guest, turn on, turn on, domain, turn on, turn on. So we want it to be on the network and we want file and printer sharing to be able to access it. And that's so that the point of sales can see it on the server. And then all networks turn on and use 128 bit. That's fine. That essentially means that the point of sales will be able to see that customer advertising file so that all the point of sales pauses will then look for this folder. And I'll show you how to set that up as well. So if we go set up, register settings, register setup. Click on YT pause or pause one, pause two, so on, for examples for real life. Edit settings, go into the devices, customer display, just hit the space bar to ticket. Now by default, you'll get something similar to that and usually screen number two. Now in my case, as I said at the beginning of this, my left hand side is my screen number three, so I'm gonna use three. For most people that can be left as two without a problem. Now, for everyone that's watching this, this will be the standard that you do for this method. So you would go backslash backslash PT server, then customer advertising, backslash customer advertising HTML. So what that's saying is this is, let's say poslane one, this is actually called YT pos for me, but we'll say it's poslane one. Poslane one now needs to look at the computer name PT server which is the server. Then it needs to look for the folder customer advertising, which is what we shared before. And then it needs to look in that folder for our customer advertising HTML. And that's this step is why I said we need to remove the 1920 resolution from that name, just to make it easier to type that in instead of typing customer advertising space 1920, blah, 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 blah. It's just simple customer advertising HTML. Once that's done, click OK, save it, send it down to the point of sale, once it's sent, you'll need to restart the point of sale. Any setting that changes a register will only take effect once the register has been restarted. So it'll go through and do the restart. When it comes up, it's gonna have the customer display on my far left, which is my monitor three, and it's gonna have that image. All right, so there we go. There's our image. And you can see it may be stretched just a little bit. So because we've got a set resolution, 1920 by 1080, the image may stretch or shrink to try and fit in that box, but the specific file we chose, 1920 by 1080, means it's going to know that it fits specifically in that section. So that's method number one. That's to get all the point of sales talking to the server to get the, um, the images. 
That way, all you have to do is go into that images folder where we put the apples before and put in new images and then restart the point of sales or wait for them to restart at midnight or 2am or whenever their restart time is and it will update the customer advertising. So the second method, which is what I actually have to use on this machine, is local. So local is that it's going to be looking at its own folder structure instead of at the server. So it's pretty simple, it's all the exact same steps, but I'll cover them all from scratch in case you skipped the previous part. So, we need to go to the website, we need to click on customer advertising 10 images to download our file. When we do that, it's going to, or we're going to extract it. We would go extract, extract it somewhere you're gonna remember. For me, I've put it in the music folder. So if I then go into music, I've got my three customer advertisings here, which is my 1920 by 1080, my 1280 by 1024, and my 1024 by 768. Now, I'm gonna point out at this point that you may have one POS that's got a different resolution and you have four that all have the same. So you'd set four up to talk to the server to make it easy, and you'd set up that one that's a little bit different, the local method, just to make it easier in the overall scheme of things, rather than setting all, up, all five up as local. So we'll use the same, we'll grab the customer advertising 1920 by 1080. Now this is where it gets a bit more tricky. You will need to do this on the point of sale for local. So in your environment, you'll be able to click up at the top there, backslash, backslash, poslane01. When you do that, it'll open up the poslane folder. Alternatively, what you could also do is put it on a USB stick and then just go to the point of sale and put it in that way. Now in any case, once you're on the point of sale, you'll need to go to the C drive, you'll need to create a folder called Customer Advertising, or whichever name you like, I'm going to stick with Customer Advertising to keep it simple. Now to do that, just because I've already done it, sorry, I'll delete that. No, I'll leave that, but we'll go New, Folder, you'd name it Customer Advertising, it will create one like that. In here, you will paste your Customer Advertising 1920 by 1080 I'll delete my old one you would rename it, not what I wanted to do, rename it. Just to get rid of that, that makes it easier for a future step. Create an images folder the same way, click new, click folder, and then type out images. In images, you want 10 images, they don't all have to be unique, you can have duplicates, as you can see here, I have got 10, 10 duplicate images, that's fine. And what you'll do at this point is name them 1 through 10. You also have to make sure that they are JPEG images. So when you're downloading them, just make sure they have a file extension of .jpg. Alternatively, if you're not sure, you can right click, click properties, go into details. Oh, sorry, in general, you'll have JPEG. Right there. As long as it's a JPEG, it's numbered one through 10, it will work. And then what you need to do, close this, go into profit track, go to setup, register settings, register setup go to your point of sale, so whether that be each of them individually because you've got multiple with different resolutions or just one that has a different resolution, that's fine too. Click on edit settings, click on devices, activate customer display if it's not activated, and then fill it out with this information, although your screen number will be two. Now mine has to be three because as we said at the beginning of the video, my left hand monitor is three. And once that's done, it's gonna tell the point of sale, so we'll say this is point, point of sale one, Hey Poslane One, you need to look at your local drive, C drive, for a folder called Customer Advertising, and in that folder there will be a file called CustomerAdvertising.html. When you look at that file, Pos One, you're going to look at the images in the images folder and display them for me, and that's what it will do. So if I click OK, save that, and send that down, although I don't need to because that's how I'm set up currently, and then restart Pos, it would activate. Now, in my case, during this whole example, from the beginning of the video, all of this has been local for me because I don't, I'm not using a remote computer. This is all my server that I'm showing and, and recording this on. So that's my local there. So you can see the image is there. Same as with the method of talking to the server, that image will stretch or shrink to fit the 1920 by 1080 resolution as much as it may need to, as long as it can fit in that square neatly. So if you do find your image is slightly distorted because it's either shrunk or stretched, you may need to get a different version of it at a different pixel size. So just something to keep in mind there. 
So the main problem that we see with this is the sharing. So that sharing that I showed in the bottom here on that little computer, if you have a Windows update that comes through, it could change your sharing permissions to say, nope, we don't want things accessible over the network. So if you suddenly go, hey, my customer advertising was working a week ago, but it's not now, that is the first thing to check to make sure a Windows update hasn't changed that. So your secure, security permissions still allow the point of sales to see the server to get any files. So that's about it. That's how to set up customer advertising. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.